using a sample of ash here just to show a biscuit joint in operation. We put the center line for a biscuit on a piece of timber like this, a piece of ash in this case. We apply our biscuit joint to the center of the joint, center point, and we turn on and plunge. We release, and there's our biscuit slot, and there's our biscuit to sit into the slot. To show the action in reality, we use that as a center line, just to show you a sectional view. What we're going to do again is we do the same thing again. We use that as center. And we plunge the biscuit slot. And the biscuit sits in there. You can see that it's gone in over halfway. It's nice and loose inside the joint there, inside the slot. So that's it, that's the center point. And that's what happens in reality when we use a biscuit for joint and two consecutive two boards together or more. The biscuit is compressed beech. What that means is that when we put the glue on it, we put glue on this surface and we put glue in the slot, the actual wetness of the glue causes the beech to expand, therefore closing the little gap between the two surfaces. So it allows you plenty of time to clamp to make sure the surfaces are nice and flush. And when you leave it to dry, the biscuit will expand and create a, a rock solid joint. So that's the biscuit joint. Very, very simple technique. Very, very appropriate for in cabinet making and a huge asset in the actual design of the tool to do it a few years back or some years back. But there we go. Prevents our, it, it means that we don't have to put a long slot in boards anymore. We can just use biscuits at intervals of about uh, 250 millimeters apart. So every 250 we'll probably put one there and thereabouts. We'll go to 300 as well. That's basically jointing. Sit there. Sectional view.